Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And today I want to talk about why we feel so exhausted. A lot of it has to do with the pressures that a lot of us feel about our jobs and the economy and politics and our children. And there are certain things that we have to face during this time period that are very real. And that is why it is so important to figure out the places that we can take better care of ourselves, that we could put our energy to better use. And maybe it'll make us feel 5% better or 20% better or maybe all better. But we really don't have the space right now to let our thoughts go wild, to let ourselves feel stressed and worried about things we can't control. It's a time that if we could be more disciplined with where we put our energy, where we put our thoughts, We're going to have more energy to deal with the things that are very real in this moment. So in a way, we have to figure out what's our job to deal with and what's not and where we need to put our energy and where we could save our energy. And I know this has helped me so much because sometimes at the end of the day, I'm exhausted not because of what I had to do, but I'm exhausted because how I chose to think. And so what a great time to start working on this. We don't realize how often in the day our thoughts that lead us to the stress and the worry and the anxiety and the fatigue, that some of it is in our control. And ironically, it comes down to worrying about things that are not in our control. So one of the first things that we could look at is, am I in the moment or am I worrying about the future? And in the moment is the only place we could do our best. And in the moment is where we create our future. So if we spend time in the present, we will be our most powerful because we will actually be working on things that are solid, that are real, that are in front of us. And we can be creative and innovative even during challenging times. But when our mind starts to go towards the future, about our worries, about our fears, about the outcomes, that's when we're going to feel exhausted. And that's when we're going to feel weak. And that's when we're going to lose our way. And usually I go over the maybe statements and the maybe practice, and you could find those on other podcasts. But the maybe is always a great place to start. And we need to remember that if we want our lives to change, it has to happen in the unknown and uncertainty brings good things too. And when you start to have a better relationship with uncertainty, you feel less exhausted because you stop trying to figure out something you can't know. And when we hold the hope and we hold the maybe, we're just in this different place because maybe things are going to get better. Maybe things are good. Maybe our thoughts are not true. Maybe life is pulling us in a new direction. And the more we're in the moment, the more we're going to be available to capture those opportunities and possibilities. Life is usually singing to us, asking us to move in a certain direction. But when we're so busy focused on what will be, we have trouble being with what is. And that is our core. That is our power. That is the moment where all things are possible. Another place we exhaust ourselves every day is when we start living from other people's perspectives. We can't control what other people are going to think about what we say and what we do. And yes, we need to be respectful to those around us and considerate. But often we are just speaking our truth. We are doing our best. We are working hard. And when people don't agree with us or they get disappointed, we get overwhelmed and we get stressed and worried about what they think, what other people think. And this is such an important time that if we can't control it, We need to find a way to let go of it. And it's not that we won't keep working towards change or growing ourselves or our businesses or our friendships, but it's so important not to obsess about things that are not our jobs, that are out of our control, because we don't really have the space right now to do that. But we can keep going back to ourselves, checking in with ourselves. Is this what I think? Is this what I need to do? Is this what moves my life forward? Am I being respectful and kind to others? And if the answer is yes to all of these, then we need to be able to put down what other people think. And what's so funny, usually when people have a thought or a judgment about what we say or do, they have it for a moment and then they move on and then we sit around and we obsess about it. So really, it's okay to let go. And just because we have a disagreement or a judgment doesn't mean our relationships are going to end. It's just... People see things differently and it's our job to own our side of the street. It's our job to speak our truth, be kind and respectful, and then let the rest go. 
And when we're able to do that, we'll have more energy to keep pursuing our goals and living our best life. Another thing that many of us do is that we take on other people's problems. Again, we think we have so much more control than we do. And sometimes we do this out of deep love and deep respect for the people that we care about. And we forget that people have their own sovereignty and their own desires and their own wishes and their own decisions. So we have to find a way to hold space to be there for people that we love, but allow them to process their own pain and their own problems. And sometimes the best we can do in life is stay in the light. Hold that positive attitude, hold that maybe mindset, hold that higher place when the people around us are having hard times so we could reflect that light into the world and we could be loving and we could be supportive. But when everyone gets negative and people are going through hard times, the best we really can do is to pray for them and care for them and love them and hold space for them so they could find their way. And the last thing I want to talk about is acceptance. We often fight what is. And again, going back to that control issue, we fight what's happening in our lives. And it is exhausting. For some reason, we don't see things as solid. So we sit and we regret the past. We regret our decisions. When we don't like what's happening, we keep banging against it. But it changes nothing. It is exhausting to keep banging your head against the wall. And a lot of us misconstrue this idea of acceptance. We think acceptance means we're agreeing with it. Acceptance means we won't change it. But acceptance is not resignation. We're not resigning to it saying, okay, I accept this. It's never going to be different. But when we accept all we're saying is this is what's happening in the moment. And sometimes I like to look at it like I consent to receive this in the moment. Because when I think like that, I'm not resigning myself. I'm just saying this is what's happening and I consent to receive, but it leaves me open to receive other things. It leaves me hopeful that I could keep changing things. There is nothing more exhausting than going over in your mind in a loop, what happened, how you want things to be different, how things shouldn't be the way they are. And we conserve so much energy when we see life the way it is in the moment. And when we say, I consent to receive what is happening, and then we have a beginning, a beginning to accept it, a beginning to change it, a beginning to see what's possible. It's a more positive way to acknowledge where we are and figure out where we want to go. And there might be other places in your life where you know that you're exhausting yourself, how you're eating, if you're exercising, if you're sleeping. So it's so important just to look for those places You could take back a little of your energy so you could go a little more within, find some strength and find some resilience. We can't control uncertainty. We can't control what other people think. We can only control our inner experience and what we choose to do in each moment. So it's a practice, but I really believe that if you start thinking about these things, you will be less exhausted and you'll have more energy to face the big things in your life and to also enjoy the moments as they come. We just want to make sure we take an accounting of all the places that we're letting our energy go so we can bring it all back to ourselves to be present, to be open, to be ready for all the things to come. We want to make sure we are cultivating resilience and strength and less fear and less worry. It's so much better to come to this moment and say, how do I want to live in this moment and moving forward? And we know we need to have the strength to do it. So now's the time to have the discipline, to stay with ourselves, to think about the things that we can control, to see how we can be more present, to see how we could be more open. There are so many blessings in our lives and so much to be hopeful for. But if we feel too exhausted and we're wasting too much of our energy, we won't be home to enjoy it. So I hope you think about all these different ways to be less exhausted. And most of all, I hope you remember that maybe the best is yet to come. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarman.com. If you'd like to buy my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, They're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. 
And if you like this podcast, you can subscribe and leave a comment.